Well, there's been a lot of conversation, you know, ever since the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie came out about the actor that uh, plays uh, Namor, uh, Tenok uh, Huerta, that actor. You know, he's from Mexico, actually. And there's a lot of conversation, you know, about his skin tone because he is, you know, a very, very, you know, dark, you know, indigenous um, person. Well, I want you to hear what, you know, this lady is saying, because the reason I'm bringing this up and you say, well, why, what does this concern us here? It, it actually concerned a lot uh, some things that actually happened recently, but let's roll this clip. You know what I saw this weekend? Wakanda Forever. And it was an excellent movie with an excellent person who played Namor, a beautiful brown Mexican man from Mexico. Play that role. And I have to say it that way. He's a beautiful brown Mexican man from Mexico who played that role. You know why I'm saying it like that? Because you cannot believe what Spanish TV is showing right now. They are showing white colonial mindset. They are asking, why is this beautiful brown man in the role that he is? And how come they didn't pick somebody lighter? And that they feel disenfranchised that it wasn't a white person, a white Mexican. So when you're asking what happened in Florida here, think about that mindset. I grew up watching Spanish novelas and I have always hated Spanish novelas because they have always shown the black person as the maid. They have always showed them like in funny comedic roles. They have showed them to be below um, somebody's status on the show. They never had people that were of darker complexion. This tells you why Florida voted the way they did. This goes to that colonial mindset. And you guys stated on my video, which I have up, talking about the Puerto Ricans and the Cubans. The Puerto Ricans not voting and the Cubans definitely voting and against their self-interest. And many people have hit the nail on the head when they said, is that colonial mindset. I can't believe that this was even airing on the show and nobody was saying anything against it. So I'm going to go get those videos. I'm going to put them up because the depravity, their racism was in full view for everyone to see how disgusting you are. Anyway, just want to give you my mind so, uh, about all of this. I'm so pissed. So as you heard, you know, what this woman, you know, had to say here is that this is an issue and this is a problem within their particular community. So in Mexico, they have an issue with them showing indigenous cultures which is in the Black Panther movie, they're mad that it wasn't a white looking, a white adjacent uh, Mexican person that was chosen for that role. When you go back to the situation with Nuri Martinez and the gang in the LA city council and how they was referring to, you know, the little black child. And they even spoke about the indigenous people as well. They spoke down on them um, when they mentioned the Oaxacans, right? That's some of the indigenous people that's out there in Mexico. Now you see when I say we don't need to be importing no white supremacists in here because they have a lot of those sentiments in their own country. They don't like the, the Afro Latinos for sure. And they don't like the indigenous people. It's all white supremacy. That white supremacist mindset is all through Latin America. It is. And then when you bring it over here, then they, in their mind, they feel that, you know, Hey, if I get with, you know, them folks, then, Oh my God, I didn't made it. Cause I didn't got rid of the real ones. See in, in my country, you know, I'm not really looked at as the real ones, but I go the real ones and, and, you know, I'm gonna join with them to be discriminatory against, you know, black Americans. Like, see, this what goes on in their country folks. This what goes on. Now for me, it's stupid. But I knew when I saw it in the movie itself, I said, oh, this is pretty good they did it that way because I knew they was going to piss them off. And actually, that's the real cultures of that homeland anyway. It's not this, you know, white adjacent, white looking, white people all over the place in, in Latin America. That's No. But you know what? Them same people in Mexico, let them go to Spain with that. The, the real Spaniards, they look down on them. They look at them as trash. They don't accept them. They'll tell them, you're not no, you're not no real uh, Spaniard. You're not none of them. No, you go over there. That, that's how they feel about them. But yet they want to try to hold on to that, you know, like it's for dear life. 
So yeah, that's why, that's why I wanted to talk about this because the, this is how they act in their own countries toward, you know, indigenous people who are very, very dark Brown or definitely the Afro Latinos, as you heard in the movies, how they, you know, treat people or in the novellas or soap operas, how they treat people. But you know, this is good. All this stuff is coming out. It is because you have a lot of Afro Latinos in Latin America. You have more of them, you know, in the Western hemisphere than definitely us as black Americans. So they should, you know, have, you know, some, some say so in their things should come out more. You know, I've been getting sent a lot of good references, uh, two different things that they're doing, how they are celebrating, uh, you know, the, uh, black heritage and all of that. I mean, they really, you know, into it, but none of us never knew. That's why what I want to do with my travel channel is go to some of these places and get with these brothers and sisters and, you know, say, Hey, look, this, you know, this, so we everywhere all over the world. A lot of times in America, we so dumbed down. We don't even get, you know, that we all over the world. It's more of us around than what you think. That's why I'm a firm believer of unifying, of course, here in America, definitely with each other. And we need to unify globally, of course, the people that want to do that. Because we, you know, unify and get together and make sure that we take care of ourselves and make sure we're good and we'll be good globally. But let me know what y'all think, you know, about what this woman is saying about how they acting in Mexico. And I hope, you know, they keep casting more indigenous people when they want to have a, you know, Latino role, because that's the, the real people that should be cast anyway.